everyone, welcome to my channel, Susan's Just Making It. I'm Susan, and as always, I'm here making stuff, mostly messes, <laughs> chaos, and just trying to make it through life. If you've been here before, welcome back, and if this is your first time watching, welcome to my channel. Um, if you like the video, thumbs up's always appreciated, and I think you probably will like this one. And um, I hope you're doing great. And this is a video that I have been wanting to get out for a little while. But of course I had to wait to get to where I was going to do this video. Uh, I wanted to get it out between Christmas and New Year's, but I ordered something to um, add to the giveaway and it just got here a couple days ago. So that's why I didn't do the video yet. But this is my 400 subscriber giveaway. And I had a goal or was hoping to reach 400 subscribers by the end of 2022. And actually I hit my 400 subscribers before Christmas. So that was really exciting. Um, as of me sitting down to record this video, I'm currently at 441 subscribers and that's been holding steady for a while. So I am, I'll admit I'm very excited to not only have met my milestone, but to have surpassed it and by that much, like I said, I was hoping to reach the 400 by the end of the year, and I'm actually recording this on January 2nd, and to be at 441, like two days after I wanted to reach the 400 goal, I am, I have to admit, I am really excited, because it's exciting to me, I mean, to surpass my goal, yay, <laughs> and um, I don't hit my one year YouTube anniversary until February 2nd. So that's a month from today. So we'll see where I'm at in a month. When I started my channel, I did not have any expectations. Um, I had been encouraged by a few friends to start a YouTube channel. I'm like, you're nuts. Nobody wants to watch me. Like, what am I even going to put on a channel? And they're like, oh, show your crafts, teach people your crafts. And I'm like, there's other people that do that. But I was like, last, well, in 2021, I would say a early November, I really started watching YouTube more. Um, I didn't really watch TV much. I would just watch videos. And I have been watching for years, like, crafting videos. And if there was anything that I wanted to know how to do, I would look for a YouTube channel. But I started watching it more for, like, entertainment and leisure. And then after a few months of watching it, I'm like, you know what, maybe I should start a channel because, you know, we'll see where it goes. If I like it and it goes somewhere, I'll continue. If it's a flop, big deal. You know, I tried it. Um, I'll admit there have been a few points that I felt like giving up. I just felt like my channel wasn't going anywhere, that I didn't know what I was doing. Am I interesting enough to even continue a channel? Um, what am I doing, you know? But usually that would come when I was a little bit more depressed. And then once I started to feel better, I'm like, okay, I'll keep going. So you guys didn't get rid of me that easy. And as of today, I don't feel like giving up anytime soon. <laughs> so you're not going to get rid of me that quick. Um, there was a time that I felt like my channel was hopeless. I was stalled at like 30, between 30 and 40 subscribers for a long time. And I'm like, is this as good as it gets? This is kind of like lame. And then I started to slowly grow and I, then I was stuck at like 70 something for a long time. And I'm like, well, it's better than 40 something, but I'm just kind of stuck. <laughs> so then I had um, a couple creators reach out to me and invite me to collabs. And that helped get me going a little bit. I think it got my channel out a little bit. And then I just um, started collabing a little bit to give my channel a jump start. Um, once I got started getting subscribers, there's some of you that have really, really stuck with me and I really appreciate you. There are subscribers that every time I do a video, I know they're going to be in my comments and I look forward to, to um, communicating in my comments. They're my tried and true, as I say. You're, they're there. They're, you know they're going to be there. If they're not there that day, they'll be straggling along in a day or so. It's like a guarantee, and I appreciate that, and it means so much to me. Um, even those that stop by from time to time and watch, um, I appreciate that too. I love that I've got to know some wonderful people, um, subscribers, and other creators. It has really been wonderful for um, 
like my self-esteem and giving me not that I have to be validated from outside but it gives you that boost um, like I said I've met wonderful people I've met a few not so wonderful people but that's like anything in life and you just kind of let that go where it needs to go but it, overall it's been a pretty positive experience and when I take my little breaks for a week when I need to regroup and rest and um, deal with life outside of YouTube I do miss being on YouTube I always am anxious to get back to recording and talking with everyone so as of today I don't feel like giving up anytime soon we'll see if that changes if I have a bad day in a week I don't know but for now I'm here and I'm pretty much on track where my subscriber count and my view time hours need to be. Not that I'm necessarily looking to be monetized. If it happens, it happens. It's not like one of those goals that I'm breaking my neck to reach. Things will happen however they're supposed to happen and they'll happen in their own time. But if that comes about, I'm pretty much where I need to be with subscriber count and view time. So what that tells me is that people are watching. They're not just subscribing and that's it. People are subscribing and they're watching. And that means a lot to me too. So basically what I'm trying to say are you, you guys are awesome. I appreciate all of you. So, but you don't want to hear about that. You want to hear about the giveaway. So <laughs> I mentioned in one of my previous videos that it's not like an over the top, your box is big full of stuff, but I think I put together some decent things. Part of it being a little conservative is we're just getting out of the holidays. So I apologize next milestone we'll see what comes about not only that I will be doing a collab later this month and I will be doing a collab next month that have giveaways so gotta have some moderation there so if you haven't won a giveaway yet maybe this is your chance if you don't win this one we have a couple collabs coming up that are guaranteed to have giveaways and you never know when I decide to just throw one out there I was hoping to have more around Christmas but life just happens so for the 400 subscriber giveaway same rules as always I don't have them right in front of me but they're the, the same rules they usually are you must be 18 or older legal adult you must have a mailing address within the um, continental United States I'm only shipping within the 48 um, states um, liking a video that helps uh, you this is in no way affiliated with YouTube it's just a platform I'm using all of this stuff was purchased by myself as a gift from me to the winner um, there are cosmetic items in this giveaway so be aware of any sensitivity or allergies you may have I'm not responsible if you have an allergic reaction or it doesn't work for you it's your responsibility to be mindful of that and um, do your due diligence I'm not responsible once I drop this off in the hands of the United States Postal Service. Whatever happens between the time I hand it to them and they hand it to you is not my responsibility. So I'm not responsible for loss, stolen, damage, delayed delivery, any of that stuff. That's on the USPS. And once it's in our hands, I'll just leave it at that. So um, when I announce the winner, I'm going to run this giveaway for two weeks. I'm not sure what day I'm putting this up. But it'll all be in the description box the start the start date the end date once it ends within a day or so i will announce the winner i will do that in a standalone video and the winner will have approximately 48 hours unless i stay otherwise in that video to reach out to me either on instagram or my email both of them are always down in my description box um, all the rules will be down in the description box in case i leave anything out which i probably did because that's me so I'll show you what's in the giveaway and then at the end I'll tell you what you have to do to enter the giveaway. Good luck to everyone that enters. I appreciate you and I probably like always will throw in at least a couple face masks with this. I'll go see what I have and throw a couple in and then if there's something else that I decide to throw in so be it. I never know. So um, thought one in, thought one out. Maybe it'll come back. I'll just get into what I have. So, anyway, the first item, when I did the haul, I said I would be sharing most of what I got in that haul. The only thing I kept out of that haul was the Dirty Martini palette, which I bought specifically for myself, and I did end up keeping the face brush because it was fluffy and pretty, and I wanted it. I gifted um, the cake palette, but I saved this one for my 400 subscriber giveaway. 
super cute this is a glam white palette it's got like a puffy i'm leaving everything shrink wrapped and i wanted to leave it that way so you get it brand new just like you would get it if you ordered it yourself i don't want it to be out of the package whatsoever so but this has like a foamy give to it and it's shrink wrapped and here's all the colors it's got like a lot of blues purples it's got like a gold a brown a green very pretty colors so there's that and it's in this bubble wrap and I'll probably wrap it up even more and this is the um, donut the glam donut palette so if you like color that's a really good palette Let's see if I can get it in there then I also have I'm trying not to avalanche this table is too small I have to come up with a different setup I'm also sharing the highlighter that came with the collection glam light sugar high now this I will open because it's just in a box it's not shrink wrapped or anything like that and this is a loose highlighter <laughs> this is kind of like velvety a little pack. it's a loose highlighter really cute it's this pretty gold color really pretty I like this but I'm kind of scared of loose highlighters because I have a feeling that Harley would jump up here and I'd be glowing for days <laughs> so little scared of the loose ones but it's gorgeous nonetheless so I'll be sharing that as well and then I am going to include the set of nails not super fancy and stuff but I kind of going kind of with the pink thing so I think this is cute just little friendships um, if it's not your thing pass it along if you don't do these but maybe have a tween or a teen that would use them just thought that they were cute I had them on hand and they were pink so I put them in I'm also going to include this um, makeup eraser wipe from beauty 360 this is the brand that um, CVS carries I didn't get it at CVS but a CVS brand but I just thought I would be, again pink so I, it was sitting on the table I'm like I'm gonna put that with the giveaway because it's pink uh, and then like I said I'll probably throw in a couple two three um, face masks and this is what I ordered but I was waiting for and it did not come when it was supposed to it was actually supposed to come by I think by Christmas Eve and I just got it so I'm just gonna tear that sticker off because I do want to make sure everything's good before I promise it to anyone but I wanted to include this um, again it's pink and I don't know like lately I've been feeling like I want to put brushes in um, as much as I'm able to when I do makeup because like who can't use brushes even if you have brushes I feel like if you have backup ones and you don't feel as guilty about throwing them away when they get gross so um, let's see what we got here this is just um, you know a little card that came with it which I might put a little note in there for the winner I didn't even know that was gonna be in there but I'll probably write a little note in that and um, my apologies I will go ahead and put them back in this bag in case you can use this for anything it's just at the sticker because I opened it I want to make sure everything was good and I wanted to obviously show you so um, these are the brushes and okay they've got the mat on them so I'll take a couple out to show you I'm not going to take them all out it's a set of brushes I forget how many pieces are in here but I just wanted to kind of show you it's got this pretty blush the um brush itself it's got the net thing to keep it from going like crazy but it's got like a chiseled handle like a chisel looked handle and I love that it's a little soft blush color I picked I when I ordered these I was looking and looking and looking and looking because I wanted pink I wanted to stay with pink I don't know no significance I just the palette was pink so I just ran with it if that means anything but I'm going to try to see how many pieces are here. It looks like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 15 piece. And it's got eye and face brushes. So I'm just going to show you again real quick. So it's a 15 piece brush set. It's really pretty. It's pink and then the metal part is like a rose gold. Really nice. I have to get some of them for myself. But I don't need no brushes so I'm not going to rather <laughs> and another reason I picked out this particular um, set was that it also comes with three blending brush blending, blending sponges because <laughs> um, who can't use them and again the same th thought pattern is 
if you have some backups, then you don't feel so bad when you throw them away when they're disgustingly gross because you have some to replace it with. That was my thought anyway, if that makes any sense to you guys. So recap, we have the 15 piece brush set with the three blending sponges, the press on nails, the makeup remover, the Glam Light highlighter, and the Glam Light donut palette. I will probably throw in some face masks. I'm not sure how many. I'll just go through and probably I'll kind of stick with a the little theme. Whatever I find that's pink and cute or sugary or whatever, I will um, include at least two to three, maybe more. I'll have to see what I have. And I have like a couple other items in mind that I've been tossing around if I want to include them or not. So I don't know what I want to include for sure. But I have a good idea, but I didn't want to show, show it because I feel like I would like to at least put two or three things in there that'll be a surprise. So you know what you're getting, but there'll be something extra. So it's a little bit more fun that way. So that's what I have for my 400 subscriber giveaway so far, aside from what I throw in. And it depends on what size box, if there's room to stuff a few things. So, but no promises, because I don't know till I go through and see what I have. So to enter the giveaway, First and foremost, you must be subscribed to my channel because it's a subscriber appreciation giveaway. So you must be publicly subscribed so that I can verify that you're subscribed. Um, and usually, since it's just a, not a collab video, I can go on my YouTube studio and I can see um, who's subscribed to me publicly. I can just pull up my subscriptions. Um, so if you're subscribed and you're not public, you're gonna wanna make your subscriptions public. Or if you're just subscribing, you want to make sure that you're publicly subscribed. If you don't know how to do that, Mary Catherine Loves Cats has a video um, explaining, or you can just type in the search bar for YouTube, how do I make my subscriptions public? And there's several videos. It's very easy. Um, so also, who knows, I might get a couple of new subscribers because I'm doing a giveaway. Everyone likes giveaways. So running it for two weeks from today's date whatever day this goes up as i mentioned it'll be down in the description box the start and end date and then i'll announce the winner within a day or so i'll probably i may even put that down in the description box what day i plan on announcing the winner of course life happens it might be a day or too late if something comes up but at least you'll kind of know when i'm announcing it um so we'll see we'll see what happens it would be wonderful I know it's a long shot, I mean, I'm at 441, but if I could hit 500 by my YouTube anniversary, which is February 2nd, I will do an amazing giveaway because that would be so awesome to hit 500 by my first anniversary. I would be ecstatic. I would be grateful. I'd be doing a happy dance. No, you guys will not see it. No, but, um, yeah. I'll do an amazing giveaway if I hit 500 by February 2nd. So if you want to share my video out, if you want to tell people about my channel and send them my way, that would be awesome because I'm willing to do a really good giveaway. I mean, I'll even go online and pick some goodies, some brand new goodies, you know. So help me out. <laughs> So, to enter the giveaway, aside from being publicly subscribed to my channel, down in the comments, I don't do a comment picker, so I have a little bit more freedom with this. To be eligible for the giveaway, let me know what your favorite color is. So, when I go through the comments to write down who's eligible to win the giveaway, there needs to be a color in your comment. And not only that, it helps me get to know you better, and that's what it's all about for me. The numbers are awesome. But getting to know you guys is more important to me than that. So let me know what your favorite color is. It's pretty easy, I think. So anyway, that's what I have to offer. I'll probably throw a few more things in. It's not epic, but I think it's pretty good. And you'll have a few surprises. So I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much to all of you for helping me get to this point. It, I am very excited. And if I could hit 500 by my anniversary, I would be like over the moon. Just saying. So until the next video. Bye everyone.